A dog once considered vicious by the state of Ohio is now making its way into homes more and more in the Miami Valley. Liza Danver is live at the Humane Society of Greater Dayton to explain why shelters are seeing a spike in pit bull adoptions. Well, both the Animal Resource Center and folks here at the Humane Society say they've noticed a lot more people adopting pit bulls. Now, this comes less than one month after lawmakers took pit bulls off the vicious dogs list. Judge the deed, not the breed. That's the battle cry the Animal Resource Center has been barking for years. Any dog can bite. Uh, any dog can attack. Uh, there's lots of reasons for it. Um, you know, so, and that's the reason why we have behavior assessments. Until last month, pit bulls were the only breed considered vicious by the state. Other breeds actually had to attack a person or another dog to be placed in that category. They should be like just any other dog when they come to the pound, if they test them and see that they're friendly with children, they're not going to bite you if you take their food, they should have the same rights as any other dog. This is Pippa. Before, when she was deemed a vicious breed, the Animal Resource Center would have had to put her to sleep if her owners didn't claim her. It was a tough uh, thing to go through, uh, but now with the new law, uh, again, all dogs, uh, there's no breed restrictions. Every, every dog is treated equally. But not everyone thinks pit bull adoption is a good idea. Some even consider it dangerous. Are they encouraging that? I mean, that will just increase it and make it worse. So, I mean, I can see one day that we're just surrounded by pit bulls in, you know, a very unsafe environment because of the viciousness of pit bulls. However, the resource center says potential owners aren't coming in just asking for pit bulls. The dogs are just being adopted more because the center is now able to include them in the selection process. They'll look at them, the dog looks at, looks at them in the eyes, walks up to the cage, greets them. Now, and a lot of times, that's what it is, uh, kind of like love at first sight. The Humane Society never had a complete ban on pit bull adoptions because they don't have to take in just any dog like the Resource Center. They're also a privately funded facility. However, they did have a lot of restrictions on pit bull adoptions until this new law went into place. For example, uh, owners had to carry insurance on their new pet. Of course, that is not the case anymore. Live in Dayton, Liza Danver, Fox 45 News.